The most controversial regional Pokedex in Pokemon history is from Diamond and Pearl. I mean, half of the Gen 4 Pokemon aren't even included. The Pokemon are largely weak, and the type diversity is abysmal. Even Volkner has a water type Pokemon on his team. And he's the electric gym leader. As a result, I fixed the Pokedex for once and for all. Every gym leader plus Elite Four member will actually have Pokemon with their respective type on their team. And I even allow for rematches where you can challenge gym leaders with five Pokemon on their team. I'm just that good. Firstly, to solve the issue of not including all Gen 4 Pokemon in the Pokedex, I included almost all of them. 107 Pokemon were added, but something like Rhyperior needs Rhyhorn and Rhydon in the region to validate their place on the Pokedex. So now you can see how one Generation 4 Pokemon quickly turns into three. I also didn't include Legendaries, not in the Platinum games, such as Giratina or Heatran, so that's the only liberty I took. With all the Gen 4 Pokemon and their respective evolutions or pre-evolutions taking into consideration, that's already 145 out of 151 slots gone. Just like that. That leaves us with only 6 extra Pokemon to fill some gaps. I'm starting to see now why Diamond and Pearl didn't include all these Gen 4 lines in the games. Nevertheless, let's start with Rourke. He keeps his Ace Crany Dose due to it being a Sinnoh Rock type, but he also added a new Gen 4 Rock type in Bonsly that I think he should use. Finally, I made his lead Pokemon Rhyhorn because it has the Rock Ground combo to match his Geodude, albeit a little bit stronger. In the rematch, Rourke's Pokemon will evolve into Sudowoodoo and the new Rhyperior, while his new Ace becomes Rampardos. He also needs two new Rock types. One is Probopass, a perfect fit, although I declined giving him a Nose Pass because that's Roxanne's Ace. On the same topic, I didn't give him Bastiodon, as that's Byron's Ace. So we're already going to have to dip into that extra pot of six international Pokemon. Spoilers for some future picks, but I will be picking Pokemon that are generally only one line, just because it allows me to have different Pokemon with different types. Therefore, Rourke's final Pokemon will be Aerodactyl. As a bonus, Amber Fossils can be hidden in the underground area, and so incentivizes players to use the mining mechanic more. Gardenia's original team was pretty solid, although it contains a Turtwig, and I'm not a huge fan of giving Gym Leader starters. Now, I do break this rule later in the video, but I only want to give a Gym Leader a starter Pokemon as a last resort. In my mind, there's no reason why we can't ditch the Turtwig for a Carnivine and keep the core members. With Cherubi Evolved, we can also add in the two new fully evolved grass types in Tangrowth and Leafeon. On the topic of Leafeon, I'm also going to shout out Eevee and its bigger brothers because they came in so clutch in this video, and I genuinely don't know if it would be possible to do this video without them providing such good type diversity in such few slots. So thank you Eevee, you weird cat dog thing. Maylene's team loses the Machoke because three Pokemon spaces for a single type Pokemon that's not even from Sinnoh, no thank you. Instead I swapped it for Krugunk, which I feel is just a better fit. Metatite I also kept, which does mean I'm wasting two slots to add it to Metacham, dropping the number of Pokemon left to three. But it was that or Hariyama, and I think she suits Metatite more because she's very spry. The Ace Lucario also stays. In the rematch I also added Infernape, and I had to get another fighting Pokemon from another region in Heracross. Apparently Diamond and Pearl don't know what fighting types are. It's not the best team, but it's what I have. Then we have Crasher Wake. Yay! I give him a team of Bibarel, Mantine, and Flutzel, which are goofy water type Pokemon that fit his goofy persona. Plus, every one of those lines have links to Gen 4. Add on a Gastrodon and Luminion, and he's good. Fantina is another fairly easy gym leader, as she will have Drifblim, Duskull, and Mismagius on her team. I could upgrade her Duskull into a Dusclops or Dusk Noir, but it evolves at level 37, and I don't feel like giving gym leaders under level Pokemon if I can help it. Instead, I feel it would be far more fitting to have the Duskull evolved into a Dusk Noir for the rematch. The two other extra rematch Pokemon on her team are Spiritomb and Rotom. I don't love that I have to give her two super rare Pokemon, but ghost types in the first four generations were very sparse. Oh, and just a casual reminder if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I would really appreciate it. 
Something that always annoyed me with Byron as a kid was him having a level 36 Bronzor on his team, despite it evolving at level 33. Now that I'm an adult, I understand it's because Bronzong is Lucian's ace, but it was always a stupid idea to give the final Elite Four member a Pokemon that evolved in its mid-30s. Needless to say, I changed Lucian's ace, so Bronzong is a viable team member this time. Add on a Magneton and his classic ace Bastiodon, and I feel this team looks good. Again, similar to Fantina, I could have evolved his Magneton, but I feel Magnezone works better on the rematch. Like father, like son, I also added a Progo Pass. And now we get to the controversial bit. There are no other true Steel types in Gen 4, so I went with Wormadam Trash. It is technically a Steel type, so you can't criticize that. But boy oh boy, you can definitely tell I was picking this answer out of the bin. Pun not intended. Candace is the first example of Game Freak in Gen 4 going, Gym leaders are matching types. <laughs> Who needs them? And what on earth is that team? We'll start with a Sneasel, but not a Weavile, because I want to save it canonically for the Cyrus boss battle. But then a Bomb of Snow. A Bomb of Snow was her ace in Diamond and Pearl, but I'm just relegating it to a standard member of the team. Add on a pile of swine and make her new ace frost last like in platinum, and it's solid. In the rematch her team would evolve accordingly, and I added the ice evolution in Glaceon. Volkner. Volkner mate, it's time I got you an actual team that fits your type specialty. While I like the Luxray pick in the OG games, it's too weak. You can find Shinx 5 minutes into the game and you, the player, can have a Luxray by like the 5th gym. So it's not a good look to have a Pokemon like that as your ace if you're the final gym leader. Pachirisu is a Gen 4 Sinnoh Pokemon so of course it joins. I also added a Magnezone and I made his new ace Electivire because that Pokemon and Volkner look so alike. Add on a Jolteon for the big rematch and this team has my backing. Now on to Elite 4. Oh boy, this is going to be a struggle. <sighs> Let's do this. Firstly, Aaron. I kept the Elite Four teams the same size, so a five-man team of Mothim, Cricketune, Heracross, Vespaqueen, and Yanmega suits him nicely. Dribion is not a bug-type Pokemon, so I'm not the biggest fan of it on Aaron's team. Also, I know what you're thinking. Yes. This team has quite a few Gui Bug Pokemon, but that's what you get when you make an Elite Four member have the bug type. Bertha was easy, she just gets all the broken Pokemon. Rhyperior, Gastrodon, Mamoswine, Hippowdon, and an ace in Gliscor. If that is not a team worthy of an Elite Four member, I don't know what is. And now onto Flint. Flint is renowned as the type specialist with the worst team ever. His ace is a starter, and more Pokemon are non-fire type than actually fire type. I don't even have the Ponyta line, because it's not a Sinnoh Pokemon, and only have two slots left for Pokemon outside of Sinnoh. So I made Inferniap Flint's lead, I added on a Flareon, and took a page out of Platinum's book, and so I gave him a Magmortar Ace. Now for the fun question, how do you get two single Fire Stage Pokemon to fill out the final two slots on Flint's team? The shorter answer is, it's impossible. Torkoal is a single stage fire type Pokemon, so I added it, but no other single stage fire type exists, and I wanted to do this challenge in the original 151 Pokemon limit, but I couldn't. Just like that, in regard to this challenge, I failed. Well, with Pokemon that are naturally fire type Pokemon at least, you see, Flint, like a lot of fire type experts, uses the move Sunny Day to boost fire type moves. It's a pretty good strategy, but there's one Pokemon that can change its entire identity because of it. Cast Form. This Pokemon, when exposed to harsh sun, turns into a pure fire molten lava blob, all while taking up only one slot. And just like that, one of the most forgettable Pokemon in Hoenn turns into our knight in shining armor. It definitely has saved us. And now I'm filled with confidence. The final Elite Four member is Lucian, and fortunately he is someone I was very prepared for. I give him a team of Bronzong, Mr. Mime, Metacham, Espeon, and his new Ace Gallade, like in Platinum. A nice strong team for the final Elite Four foe. To be honest, Cynthia wasn't tough at all. I just give her a team competitive enough that could cover each other's weaknesses, but I also wanted to make sure each Pokemon represented Sinnoh. 
Finally, I didn't want to use any other gym leader's aces, just because I like the aces being used by them, and only them. I personally settled on her new six being Toxicroak, Tangroth, Togekiss, Probopass, Spear 2, and Guardchomp, but feel free to comment below what team you would have given her. In conclusion, the Generation 4 Pokedex has some massive flaws. Firstly, it seems as though the Dex was first created and the Gym Leaders or Elite 4 members were added as an afterthought, hence why several of them don't have the Pokemon that match their type speciality. The Pokedex featured weak Pokemon, and there were too many Psychic, Water, Bug, Flying and Normal type Pokemon, while very few of other key types. Finally, not all Gen 4 Pokemon were included, and only available post-game, which is rather surprising. Platinum did fix this issue, and I would be lying if that game didn't inspire my choices for remaking this Dex. I also didn't talk about all the Pokemon in the Pokedex, so the lines that didn't feature in the prior teams consist of Piplup, Turtwig, Apom, Baneary, Starly, Murkrow, Glammeow, Chingling, Chadot, Hapini, Stunky, Munchlax, Skorupai, Lickitung, Porygon, and the six legendaries. They are the three Lake Guardians, Palkia, Dialga, and Manaphy. A massive thanks to everyone for watching this video, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy Pokemon content on this channel, please do subscribe because it means a lot. Share with your friends, and peace!